This is a review from our class on how to make an outline using Microsoft Word. So in this case, we're going to use Unit 5, Lesson 9 from our text, and we are going to write Diem's self-evaluation. So I'm just going to start with that as my heading. And then remember to start an outline, we type a capital I, period, and space bar, and that tells Microsoft Word to go into the outline uh, formatting. So here I'm just going to start with um, the introduction, and that is the general self-assessment. And with an outline, remember you can um, hit enter to go to the next form, uh, the next part of the outline. But as you see here, that didn't work for me. And so the reason for that is because I have spaces um, after my outline. So if your outline is not working, that's because you have a lot of extra space or spaces after that line. And so you might have to delete some empty spaces if you accidentally hit tab here or the space bar. Uh, your outline formatting is not going to kick in. Now, when I hit enter, I get number two. And when I hit tab, it goes to my letter A. And in this case, uh, I might say that she is a receptionist. She is proud of her job, or proud of her work, and she's kind to uh, clients. When I hit enter, I'll get D. And if I want to go to the left, I hit the keys on my keyboard, Shift and Tab. And so here I'm going to talk about her strengths. And from the text, again, I'm going to hit tab to move to the right. And from the text, we remember that um, one of her strengths was she is willing, her, her willingness to learn new systems. Another strength that she had was helpfulness to coworkers. And then we'll move from uh, B to C, D, and E. And after E, just like over here, I'm going to move from strengths to opportunities for improvement. Now, what I want you to do, because all of this comes from the text as you write your assessment um, essay for, for Diem, I want you to fill in the blanks or give me more. So in this case, uh, willingness to learn new systems. If I hit enter, you see here that my outline moves down and I'm just gonna hit tab and that changes all of the um, lettering that happens after it. So here I'm gonna hit shift tab and move to the left and you can see A, B, C, and D. But if I hit tab, this C will change back to B. Watch. OK. And now I'm going to use my imagination and, and explain you know, what kind of systems did she learn here? How is she helpful to her colleagues? Now, see, I, I have a space here, so it didn't work. So I need to take away that space in order for the outline to work. How is she helpful to her colleagues? Maybe I'm going to give three examples for that one. And I'm just going to keep moving down my outline. So again, to go from one level of the outline to the next, so in this case, from level three to level four, I hit Enter. To move that to the right, I hit Tab. And if I want to go in again, I hit Tab again. And to move my outline back to the left, I hold shift and hit tab until I get to the level of the outline that I want. That's one way to do it. Uh, you can fill your outline in as you go. If you have your text already, you can also start your outline and just bring, uh, bring the text back up to the, the previous level by hitting backspace, enter, tab. And here I'm going to do 
backspace to bring it up, enter and tab. And, and I'm filling in my outline as I go, um, as long as I remember what are my um, levels, how I want the outline to look. This one might be a little more difficult to do this way, but I wanted to show you as an option. Okay. There you have it, creating outlines using Microsoft.